The SOAR-2 armored personnel carrier was developed by Romarm of Romania as a private venture. It was aimed to meet a possible requirement of the Romanian army. Romarm has considerable experience developing and producing wheeled armored vehicles. The SOAR-2 was first publicly revealed in 2008. The SOAR-2 is an improved version of the previous SOAR-1, which was not selected for production. A Swiss Piranha IIIC was selected instead. In 2013 it was announced that Romanian army might purchase a total of 50 SOAR-2 armored personnel carriers however eventually there were no production orders for this armored vehicle. The SOAR-2 follows the line of Romanian 8x8 APCs. It is fitted with new engine and has improved interior, as well as improved protection against mines and some other improvements. The previous Romanian APCs were essentially cloned from or at least inspired by Russian designs. However the latest SOAR-2 shows Western influence in its design. This APC has a welded steel armor hull. It provides all-round protection against 762 by 39 mm armor-piercing rounds. Add-on armor can be fitted for a higher level of protection. Front arc of this vehicle with maximum level of protection withstands 14.5 mm armor-piercing rounds. The SOAR-2 also has some degree of protection against landmines and improvised explosive devices. It withstands blasts equivalent to about 6 kg of TNT anywhere under the hull. This APC is fitted with NBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems. The SOAR-2 can be armed with various turrets or remotely controlled weapon stations with up to 30mm caliber weapons. One of the prototypes was fitted with Erlikon 25mm cannon and coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. This armored personnel carrier accommodates a total of 11 troops, including the crew. Troops enter and leave the vehicle via rear ramp. In case of emergence occupants leave the vehicle via roof hatches. There are some firing ports provided for the troops in order to fire their individual weapons. The SOAR-2 armored personnel carrier is powered by a turbocharged diesel engine, developing 360 horsepower engine meets Euro 3 emission requirements. It is mated to an automatic gearbox. Vehicle is fitted with a central tire inflation system, which improved mobility over difficult terrain. This APCI is also fitted with a self-recovery winch. The SOAR-2 is fully amphibious. On water it is propelled by two water jets. 